Welcome to this edition of the Buckeye TV Post Game Report. I'm Brad Kilmer. Now, Ohio State in Purdue, that has always been a tough matchup for the Buckeyes in, in past several seasons, and they've always struggled in recent years playing here in West Lafayette. Well, with a 28-0 lead in the first quarter, this game got way carried away with the Buckeyes beating the Boilermakers 56 to nothing. Now, the Ohio State offense had 640 yards of total offense in this game, and according to the coaches and players, this might be the most complete game the offense has had since Urban Meyer has taken over in his second season. Since our offense line is blocking people, there's a bunch of targets. Our tight end had a great day today. And the one thing about when you play with extended receivers, more than one, you can kind of more than two. It's not you're saying get the ball to him. The defense dictates where the ball goes. We're just fast, push the fast rewind button to one year ago facing the same team. Who are you going to throw the ball to? I don't, I don't know. Uh, now you got five, six targets that you actually want to see the ball in their hands, and they've earned that right. You know, it was a, it was a good game, and uh, you know we had a good game plan coming in, and uh, you know they gave us some things that you know we thought they were going to give us, and uh, you know our O line executed the protection awesome, and you know Braxton threw some awesome balls, and uh, so you know it just worked out in our favor. You know, it was just preparation on Sundays and Mondays. You know, coming in early all the time and uh, figure out what type of defense they run and how they how they like to play third down. You know, big. Third down is, is a big in the game too. So, oh man, it, it's great for the team. You know, for our confidence. You know, uh, we got a lot of young guys, and and it's great for the older guys to step up every day and just keep leading. And, and we told them about the environment out here. You know, our last two times here, we didn't go good. So, and the only two times I had to come here. So to end it off like this today was great. It's, it's a great time for a bye week. You know why? Because that's what it is. So we're just taking a positive approach to it. And like I said, it'll be. Uh, It'll be a very intense bye week because we, we got to make sure we're coming back faster and stronger than we went into the bye week, and that has to happen. Now to 640 yards of total offense marked the fourth time this season Ohio State has had over 600 yards in total offense this season. A couple injury reports I should mention. Taylor Decker came down with an MCL sprain. He's expected to miss one to two weeks. Michael Bennett had a stinger in this game. He's expected to just to rest during the bye week. Now Ohio State's next opponent will also be on the road in Champaign, Illinois against the Illinois Fighting Illini. Ohio State, by the way, will rest during the bye week as they go into Champaign the week after. After. From West Lafayette, I am Brad Kilmer, Buckeye TV Sports.